those people that Jasmine was talking about that should uh, should not be here. I'm old and ugly, so 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 bear with me a little bit, okay? We're going to talk about uh, something. I hope it's interesting because I think it's interesting for for everyone. But before we start, who has a high IQ? <laughs> I don't see any hands being being risen. Only one, and the rest are stupid or what? <laughs> who has a high IQ? You 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 have. Who else? Okay, all those who have a high IQ, I'm sorry, I don't care. <laughs> because it's not your fault. I'm sorry, sir, uh, the person who is frightening here. Eh? Uh, I don't care because God created you that way. Yeah. Right? Nobody's perfect. <laughs> okay. God created you that way. Your job maybe is to put this to use. But then there's something else that you can work on. The rest of your brain associated with right, you, that what what is going to call emotional intelligence, and this is what uh, th this has been our slogan in my company, which is NBTS. Okay, uh, so it's nbtsi.com for about 18 years. <coughs> Real, we believe that we work on that, we develop that in ourselves, and we help others develop it. This emotional intelligence is something that you can develop. Now, what is that? So, I like uh, the, the, the title that told me I need an impactful title. So, IQs has been. Uh -huh. Like my students at the university, they tell me, Sir, I am intelligent. I say, Good for you, I don't care. <laughs> tell me what are you going to, to do with it? EQs and EQ, which is emotional IQ. Or, otherwise called as emotional intelligence, I. Beautiful lady saying hello, right? <laughs> so I'm not that old and ugly. <laughs> okay? So, is this working? Okay, thank you. Why is not? Shit. Huh? Okay. Uh, I'm trying. What do you tell me about, about the... Okay. Great, so... The other one. Let's define this. Do you agree with that? The, the, the people, I'm sure that there are a lot of people who are aware of this. Emotional intelligence, we've got training on this. Some people maybe are EQ certified. I don't know what that means, but still. Eh? Uh, uh, some people have been trained. We have an EQ seminar. Some people are experts on EQ. Who is an expert on EQ? Raise your hand. Now after the, the, the first one, when I said I don't care, nobody wants to raise his hand. Yes, you are. Uh, this is who? This, uh, I, mean, I know you, I paid you to, to raise your hand. <laughs> who else? Who else, aside from the people I corrupted to answer me? I didn't corrupt you, I don't know you. You're asking me after a check later on, right? Thank you. So, uh, you, you have attended surely a lot of things on emotional intelligence, it's okay. Maybe it's uh, not new to you, but maybe you're going to have a fresh view of it and see what, what we can do with it. So, I'm not going to read the slide. You know how to read, so you read it yourself. But uh, this is going too fast. Okay? Do you agree with that? The people who know about the Q? People who possess emotional intelligence are special. We like to connect with them. We like to connect and say communicate. As I was saying in the, in the car to, uh, to the person who came with me that there's a famous book on, uh, on leadership written by one of the top guys in leadership nowadays called John Maxwell. I'm sure that Camille knows about them. He said, we, don't, we, we communicate but we don't connect. We don't connect. We use, the, as I said, the WhatsApp, Facebook and Twitter, but is this connecting? This is some kind of weird, abstract, extraterrestrial communication. And especially when it's written in English Arabic. I don't understand it. I still don't understand it. This Arabic written in English is still like extraterrestrial language for me, but it's not communicating. We don't connect those people who work on the EQ, they actually connect. They do. 
because they use this part of the brain which is non-rational. I wouldn't say irrational. Irrational sounds like a, a, a crime or something. It's non-rational. Non-rational. Uh, for the people who, who like French, who used to study at school, uh, this great guy called Racine. Uh, anybody uh, remember that? <coughs> Racine? Whatever. For the <laughs> ignorance who don't know about him, you just uh, do your Google, okay? Or Google, or whatever you, you do when you're when you're turned off, okay? So, uh, uh, Racine used to give this sentence, le cœur a ses raisons que la raison ne connaît pas, which means that your emotions have their own way of working, that the reason don't know about. It's good. Because I, I, I don't want my heart, my feelings, my imagination, my creativity, which is the realm of the EQ, to be spoiled by this so-called IQ. I don't care about the IQ. I care about it as it helps me to develop the whole thing, the whole brain, to develop my educated instinct, develop my creativity, to develop the way I connect with people. This is what I care about. The rest belongs to the realm of computers. I mean that. Okay? That we have all those kind of, of emotions. I can see the faces of, of some of the people in, this, in the public, some very uh, attractive people. Uh, but those are the negative emotions that we that we experiment or, or live with all the time, right? Not your <laughs> when uh, when you are when you are developing your own emotional in intelligence, you deal with that in yourself and with others. You have this key, which is quite uh, quite, uh, quite interesting. When, sorry, no. Okay, this is what is emotional intelligence about. Emotional intelligence is working on five dimensions. Five dimensions. The top line. Eh? Self-awareness, self-regulation, the motivation, okay, and then social awareness and social skills. Self-awareness. Who am I? The eternal question, who are you? <laughs> Don't care about your name. Who are you? <laughs> means what makes you tick, what motivates you, aside from having two beautiful ladies on your left, what motivates you? Design of ladies? <laughs> what, what demotivates you? Me. <laughs> Nagging? Ah, okay. Are you married? <laughs> Ladies, stop nagging at your husband. So, uh, by, by answering the simple questions, you're actually uh, putting your, uh, your, your emotional intelligence at work. Now I recognize you. You're my right? Okay. Good. So, let's see what, what all those things mean. So, you have three dimensions that are related to self which means developing yourself. The, 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 the two remaining ones are related to developing your, your emotional intelligence through connecting with others. So what does it mean? Eh? Self-awareness. Self-awareness means emotional awareness. So what motivates me, what demotivates me? What makes me tick? What are my fears? What makes me super energized? What what puts me to sleep, like most of you are putting you to sleep thanks to the way I talk, I guess. Yes, who's sleeping? Of course I'm not going to answer because you're already sleeping. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, it's accurate self-assessment. Knowing my stresses and my limits. You, you know what? If you develop your EQ, you don't have any limits. The sky is the limit. Because you're going to develop yourself through developing others and others will help you develop yourself. They give back to you, so it's a kind of fantastic uh, give and back thing that it, it never ends. You're going to find yourself more intelligent, with more capabilities. Work on that. Work on yourself. Self-confidence, of course. Self-confidence is one of those weird characteristics, <coughs> weird, very important ones. 
that I guess uh, most managers that we train or we consult with are looking for. They look for people with self-confidence. They are not afraid of things. And even if they make mistakes, they consider them as great learning opportunities. They are not afraid to laugh at themselves. They are not afraid to not take themselves seriously. Because as my friend and my mentor Camille knows, the, the more you take yourself seriously, the less time you have for anything else. So when your, your, your arrogance is like, uh, fills all this room, there's no room for anything else. Please, laugh at yourself. Laugh is, uh, life is so serious that you, don't, you cannot take it seriously. Take it seriously, you die. Even if you're still walking and breathing, breathing you're actually dead. Who is dead while being alive? <laughs> Nobody, of course. Eh? Self-regulation means correcting yourself. You need self-control. You need to know what to correct. You need adaptability, you need to be flexible, as we said in the beginning. People with a lot of emotional intelligence are flexible. You need to be flexible. You need to be flexible the second time, because I, I don't find it too much nowadays. Also with my students at the university, they're 20, 21, 22, they think they're always right. Those people are not developing their emotional intelligence, they are stuck with some kind of weird computer-like intelligence. And it's black or white. Life is not like that. Right? Right, right. okay. You need to be innovative, of course. You need to be creative. Creativity is one of those big things of emotional intelligence. A motivation, what's your achievement drive? What's, what motivates you to achieve things? Money? If money motivates you, then if it's the first motivation of what you do, and the first time you, are, you, are, you have less money, your motivation goes down the drain. Whereas if you're motivated with bigger things, like changing the world, like upgrading people around you, money will come, but then it's gonna come sustainably. You're not going to be demotivated even if you don't make money with it in the beginning, like typical successful entrepreneur. Successful entrepreneurs in the beginning, they're not motivated with money. They're motivated to do things that change, improve their community, like uh, the zero waste issue that uh, my, predecessor, my predecessor was talking about. Okay, I think it's Yvonne, right? Your name is like the name of my aunt. Huh? You're not my aunt. I, have, I still have three hours? I said I have three hours. Okay, so I'm going to go quick. Huh? Social awareness, of course, empathy. I can talk for, for, for two days in a row about empathy, but I won't. Eh? Putting yourself in somebody's shoes, developing others. Yes, you do. Yes, you have to. Leveraging diversity, accepting the difference of others. Accepting the difference and use it as a strength. Political awareness, not political awareness, who is it may not we don't really care. Political awareness is knowing what is moving the group? What are the dynamics of the group you are, you are with, whether at work or in, in your family? What are the dynamics? How to, how to integrate yourself with it? How to manage it in order to improve yourself? And finally, social skills, of course. Influence is major issue. Influence, use your charisma. We are all born with a dose of charisma. We are all born with it. Don't let anybody tell you, you're not charismatic, you are! Now you need to, to make it shine. We all have the capacity to influence. Just like we all have the capacity to communicate, but really communicate, like in a give and take. Influencing others, hopefully, positively. We can be change catalysts by developing our feelings, feeling people, not just analyzing people, black and white, and by having a teamwork orientation. Now examples of some uh, emotional intelligence for some people that you may know of. Huh? Colin Powell, he's a great guy by the way, he was maybe not a very successful as a politician, but he's a great guy, he has a NGO 
that develops people. Eh? Okay? And I love this guy. Everybody who studies uh, management of business should know that this guy was CEO of G General Electric since 19, from 1981 to 2001, has been voted at the end of the 20th century as maybe one of the best managers in American corporate history. You should read his major book called Winning. I really advise you to read I don't have any commission if you buy it, but read it. And last but not least, this guy initiated the concept of emotional intelligence, Daniel Goldman. Please remember that. Please remember it. And my own advice, I promise you, this is the last time you can wake up now. Okay? So this one. Right? Because if you work only on your IQ and your arrogance, you always say that you're going to be right. If you stop this bad habit, then you're going to start asking yourself the right questions. How do I develop myself? How do I develop others? How do I understand what's happening around me? I hope it was useful. Thank you very much.